much I can find my way We got everything here At least to stay alive And the time that we share Makes it all worthwhile Got this place on Do you feel how like we got something strong? I saw you walking the line and the truth. Hey everybody, I'm in my farm work gear <laughs> and I've come in the office for just a minute. We are here at the farm. It is so cold. Let me tell you, it is so cold. It is 20 some degrees, but the wind chill is like in the very, very low teens. And y'all keep in mind, we're in North Carolina. We're not used to that. So, <laughs> it is cold. So, I wear um, the, the do-rag thing, the bandana, and I wear a shower cap. So, I have to come in here and pick it up because I leave it over here. And so, we're going to head over there. I think Bryant and I are going to open up Bubbles and Papaw Daycare. <laughs> It seems like we always have a child, and um, this week, for the next five days, we're going to have Judabug because his um, class has been suspended for five days, not because of bad behavior. Um, I think there was, like, some secondhand exposure or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I just know they're not having their class for five days. Uh, Judah's not sick. He's not. Nothing's wrong with him, um, but they're just not having class for five days. So we'll have Judah. So I've printed off some worksheets. He's gonna have class at Bubbles House. But first things first, we gotta do chickens this morning. <laughs> Chicken duty, Chicken duty calls. Okay guys, I'm back at the house. Hair is semi put up in a ponytail, but it's fallen down. Um, we've showered, we're clean. Judah is actually outside playing on uh, the swing set, and I've got to fix us something for lunch. Also, I thought since Judah was staying with me today, we would make it semi-educational. And so, I have done a couple worksheets with him. Let me show you. Uh, we did the story of Noah, and he colored the rainbow. So, he learned all about Noah today, and... Um, and that and we Judah is really into like heroes, bad guys, um, superheroes. So we made Noah the good guy. God was a superhero, and the world in its sin was the bad guys. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm trying to make this relatable to a child who's really into superheroes. So Noah was like the really good guy, and he saved all the animals, and he was kind of like a superhero. But the ultimate superhero was God. And um, anyway, um, so he colored all the colors of the rainbow. He stayed in the line so good for a three-year-old, I think. And um, so we learned about Noah. And he is, did the letter A, and we learned how to draw it. We go up the mountain, down the mountain, and then we build a bridge. <laughs> That's how we draw a capital A. And so he's done super good. He's actually outside. We're having recess. So we're kind of doing a little bit of homeschool for pre-K, you know, I mean, kind of um, today. So I want to keep it educational. I've got a couple more worksheets, but with a three-year-old and their attention span, you got to break it up. So he's actually outside playing. I thought I'd come over here and check on him and I don't see him. <laughs> oh, I do see him. He's so cute. Okay, so anyway, so since we learned the letter A, I thought we would cook something fun today with apples. I've done apple dumplings before, but we're gonna do them again. Today's just gonna be kind of a vlog type video, but we're gonna do a couple things for cooking. I'm gonna make us something really quick, really easy for lunch, and, um, and then we're gonna make apple dumplings, and then we'll just see how the rest of our day goes. But um, it's been a great day so far, and um, yeah, Bryant's going to the church to work, and it's just going good. So, all right, 
I'll be back in just a little bit. I got to get the kitchen cleaned up before I can do anything. It's bad. Okay, so Judah can't decide if he wants to stay in or go out. So I told him this is his last time. Okay, so we're going to start with our liquid that goes in our apple dumplings. That's what we're going to start with before I do lunch. I want to get these in the oven. Speaking of oven, let me turn my oven on. I'm going to preheat it to 350. Have not got my new stove yet, but it's coming. Y'all, this is a new stove, but there's been some defect in the oven part, and the company has just been super great to work with. Um, they have sent me a new one. Actually, it is in. Um, FedEx has it, <laughs> but FedEx has the wrong address. So they gotta, you know, be sure they're getting the right address. So anyway, uh, Brian's working on that. Okay, so I put a full stick of butter, which is half a cup, in my little saucepan here. We're gonna get the sauce ready first. Okay, so to that, we're gonna add two thirds cup of sugar. Two thirds cup, and I'm actually going to get out just a little extra sugar because we're going to dust the top with some cinnamon sugar. So I'm going to pour me just a little bit of sugar in there. No real measurements needed for that. Okay, and so to this, my liquid, a lot of people use Mountain Dew, they use Sprite. Uh oh, did you hurt your finger? Yeah. I'm sorry, shut the door for me. They use Sprite. They use all kinds of um, liquids, but I've tried it with all of them, but my favorite is orange juice. Everybody does it different, but my favorite is absolutely using the orange juice. It gives it the sweetness, but yet a brightness, um, and just something that I don't think the soda pops, you know, the soda pop, where did that come from? <laughs> that the sodas just don't add. So I'm going to get this on the oven, um, on the stove top, get it melted down, and we'll be right back. While the liquid is melting and the butter's melting down and we're mixing that all together, I'm going to quarter and peel these two apples. This is a honey crisp, and I think this is a gala. Okay, guys, I've just got a can of off-brand... Um, sprinkle? Um, yeah, we're going to sprinkle that in just a minute. Um, crescent rolls. Judah has taken his coat off, washed his hands, and he is ready to help. And I'm going to show him what we're going to do. We're going to take one crescent roll, yeah. one triangle. Look right here. We're going to take it. We start at the big end, and we put the apple in it, and we, oh, no, and we cover it up. I want to get another one. Okay. I'm going to get you one. Hang on. I got oh. you one. Right here, right here, right here. Right here. Here's your one. Okay. Spread it out. Spread it out. And you're going to take a triangle. See that triangle right there? There you go. Right now you take your apple and put it on the big part and start covering it up. Roll it from the apple side. Y'all, this may take a little bit helping him. But you just wrap it up and you put it in your dish like that. Okay, I'm going to help him. We're going to finish this up. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we have our little extra sugar here, so I'm just going to add in a little extra cinnamon. Um, we'll see. I just like to, for it to get like a light brown. I'll, I'll spread them in there. Yeah, okay. I'm going to show you how first, okay? All right, we're going to show Judabug how we're going to sprinkle it. And I'm actually, I think I'm going to put just a little bit extra cinnamon. I want these. For some reason, I'm craving something to be cinnamony today. So I'm gonna put just a little bit extra. There we go, that's perfect. All right, head up, head up. Don't stick your head in it. Ah, he's eating the dough, y'all. Okay, so we take the spoon, look, and you just go shake, 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 shake. You don't pour it, you just shake it. Okay, you wanna try? Yes, 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 yes. All right. Hang on. All right, good. Just a little bit. All right, now shake it on the rest of them. So shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake. There you go. Good job, buddy. I want to get the 
Yeah. No, you don't. Oh, you could do that. You could take your fingers and sprinkle it. Not so much. There we go. That's perfect. All right. And we're not going to use all of this. I mean, you could, I guess. I see. Okay, guys. Here is our butter, sugar, and orange juice mixture. Can you step back, Judah? This is very, this is boiling hot. And you just want to pour this. I just kind of pour it down the side. I don't like pouring it over it, but I guess you could. I just pour it down and let it soak in there. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay. So now, this is going in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes. And we'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, guys. While the apple dumplings are in the oven, I thought I'd make Judah and I some a good little lunch. Um, he's playing, making a mess. But, you know, that's okay. All right. I had some leftover chicken that I had cooked up for the chicken pie. I didn't use quite all of it. And y'all, let me just tell you, that chicken pie was to die for. It was absolutely to die for. It was so good. Okay, so let me show you what I've got. I've got my leftover chicken here, and I've got some taco seasoning that I'm just gonna kind of shake in there. Just a little bit, maybe a tablespoon. Um, gonna add a little bit of water. We're gonna stir that up good. Are you cooking, Judah? Yeah. Yeah, Judah's cooking. He's got an onion over there. All right, I'm just gonna stir this up good. Hey, I need that. I need that. I need that. I'm gonna I need that. add the rest of that water. Okay, and so to this chicken that has the taco seasoning in it, I'm gonna add a little bit of chunky salsa. I mean, and this, that's maybe another two tablespoons, tablespoon and a half. Not much. You just wanted to give it some moisture and um, might as well use something with flavor like salsa. Not just all water. I mean, I could have used all water and just kept adding more, but this is going to be so good. Okay, it's going in the microwave. I'm just going to heat it up good. And then we're going to get some tortillas going and we're going to make um, chicken and cheese quesadillas super simple a delicious lunch it's gonna be delicious okay guys I'm gonna give the it's a non-stick skillet and yes it's seen its better day I'm gonna give it a little bit of a spray I'm gonna turn I'm putting one this is some small tortillas I have if you have a larger one you can make these into halves um, but I have some cheddar cheese here I'm gonna put down. And I'm actually gonna kinda of turn it not all the way on high because I don't want it to brown before it melts the cheese. I want the cheese to get melted. Let me grab the chicken. Okay, so I have my chicken here and I'm gonna sprinkle it on. This'll be Judah Bug, so we won't put a whole, whole lot. Cause he probably would prefer just chicken cheese. There we go. And I'm actually gonna top his with a little bit more cheese. His will be good and cheesy. Cheesy, cheesy. Okay. And I'm gonna put the lid on and smush down. And right before I flip it, I'll give the top part a spray before I flip it. And mine will be a half of one, so I'll show you how I make mine in just a minute. Okay, let's give it a quick flip. Um, fish spatula is wonderful. Oh, I forgot to spray the top, but that's okay. I think there's enough on the pan that'll be fine. And we'll probably flip it over again and brown this side. And the main thing is to melt the cheese. So we're gonna get this going and I'll see you guys back here in just a minute. Okay guys, Judah Bugs is coming up. 
We'll slice it in just a second when it cools, but let's go ahead and get mine started. Okay guys, I've sprayed the pan again, and I have these low fat, or low carb, not low fat, but low carb tortillas. And I'm just gonna sprinkle my cheese on half. I also have another brand I wanna try, so I'm actually gonna make two of these today. So we're gonna put that there. We're gonna go in with some chicken. The adding the salsa, I'm telling you, don't skip out on that to your chicken. Add the taco seasoning, but oh. also add the salsa. It is so good. Okay. I'm going in, I'm gonna to top it with a, just a little bit more cheese. Come on, cheese. And we're gonna close the lid. Oh, I got cheese. Okay, buddy. I got some. I see. All right, we're closing the lid and we're gonna let this cook. I'm gonna turn the burner down a little bit because I want the chicken to get, well, it was, I warmed it in the microwave, so, but I want it to get, you know, warmer. And I want the cheese to melt. Y'all, this is, this is how fast this works. I mean, it couldn't be any faster. So, let me grab me a plate. I like Mom, I do like plate. Okay, guys, mine is done that quick. All right, let me go get the other brand, and I'll fix one of those. Okay guys, I got the second one in the pan. It is this La Banderita. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I think but I'm close. I do. I you do? Okay. Judah is fixing his quesadilla. He's adding some cheese to the top, some cold cheese to the top. So we'll get a good look at his in just a second. So to the cheese, I'm gonna add some chicken, just like I did my other one. And we're gonna see which brand of low carb I prefer. Now, um, this does not have to be low carb. Somebody says, why are you cooking diet? You don't have to cook diet. This is, this is, you can cook it however you want to. Use the full tortillas, it's gonna be delicious. Okay, so I'm gonna shut the lid. I'll turn the burner back on, because I cut it off. Okay, and we'll be ready in just a minute. Let's take a look and see how Judah's enjoying his. Okay guys, I offered to cut Judah's, but he's already going, so will you take a bite and tell us how it is? Mm. Is that good? <laughs> give him a thumbs up. Don't show him your food, just give him a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, so it's kid approved, and um, if we'll hang on just a second, we'll check mine. I offered to cut his, but he just wanted to dig in. So, it, <gasps> Judah, this is hot, buddy. I thought he was coming over here with me. All right, let's turn this down. Turn, not this down, but turn you guys down so you can see. It's browning. Now, I like to eat mine with a dollop of sour cream and some um, more salsa. That's how. You do too? Judah is getting in the um, cheese bag. He This is a cheese-loving kid, let me tell you. I'm gonna have to sweep the floor again because there's cheese all over it. Okay, I believe this one is ready. I'll meet you over here in just a second. Okay guys, we're gonna give the second one I fixed a try and see if we like it. I did put on some salsa and sour cream. Mmm. Okay, that one's really good. Now let's try the first one I did. Both of them are, I mean, I, I've used, well, I've never used this, that first one I just tried. Let's try this one. I really can't tell much of a difference. I think if I had to pick one, hang on, let me grab it. I'll show you which one I would pick. 
I think I would pick this one for the low carb option. I'm not sure if the macros are better. I haven't compared that. But um, either one, no matter which one was in stock, I would grab it and I wouldn't hesitate. I love them. So I'm going to enjoy my lunch. We'll be back when the apple dumplings come out in just a little bit. Delicious. Judah just said delicious. I think he's talking about his quesadilla. Um, while we were eating our quesadilla, look what came out of the... I'm fogging y'all up. Hang on. Came out of the oven. Don't they look delicious? We'll try them in just a minute. We're going to let them cool for a second. Okay, y'all. Bright came home from working at the church, and apple dumplings were ready and cooled, so he gets to taste his. All right, guys. He's been eating the chicken quesadilla meat. I've just been eating the meat over there. They can't see me in my head. She's got this thing set up for short people. Hey, Wonder there you why. go. Oh, it's tilted too, but that's, that's okay. okay. You want to try it? You go first. Okay. This is always one of my favorites. Really good. Love the orange juice. Mm-hmm. I'll take a bite. And the sugar. <laughs> Just one. And depending on what kind of apples you use, this is delicious. Bite. And he gave me the last bite with no bread. <laughs> Guess what I've got? Milk. Milk. Anyway, this is not the end of the video, but I did want to get the apple dumplings tasted for you. Super good. He's getting it out of <laughs> Anyway, Judah's watching TV. Sorry if you hear it in the background. But we, um, we're going to just video a little bit of the rest of their day. We're not sure what it holds. Um, Judah's been super good today. I couldn't ask for him to be any better. And um, so you got two. Quick and easy. Listen, if you don't have already boiled cooked chicken, it's okay. Use canned chicken. There's a couple of things. I mean, I'm not a fan of canned chicken either, but there's two things that I make with canned chicken that it's absolutely perfect for, and chicken quesadillas is one of them. So if you don't have the leftover boiled chicken, that's fine. Just use you a can of chicken. So, all right, I'm going to get me another bite before they all get gone. Well, Judah has gone home for the day, and we've had a, an amazing, wonderful day. He's been so good. He's played outside. He's, he's found some of my childhood toys in, in a little playhouse that my daddy built me when I was a little girl. Um... One, I knew immediately what it was, and I it just brought back immediate picture of me playing with that toy. Um, but um, so he's had a really good day. I've enjoyed making it educational for him, and making uh, apple dumplings and quesad in quesadilla. And let me tell you, that stinker ate that whole quesadilla. He ate that so good. But um, it's just been a great day. I was going to cook supper tonight, but um, Caroline and Jamie um, have, they're good. She's cooking tonight for her family. And um, so I think I'm just going to put the hamburger back in the refrigerator and make it tomorrow because I've eaten lunch. I don't need to really eat another full meal. So I can just fix something quick and easy for Bryant and I'll put the hamburger back and fix it tomorrow. I think I'm making like stuffed shells, um, like a, not an Italian type stuffed shells. I don't know. I'll, you'll just have to wait and see. And, um, so I think I'm going to put that back in the refrigerator and just wait till tomorrow. Today I've done laundry. I've done lots of stuff, but the other day I did a mini grocery haul. And so if you'll stay tuned, I'll share that with you now. Hey guys. So I thought I would share with you this grocery haul. And it's a little odd and a little hilarious because it's a hodgepodge. Um, I, I've ran slowly. I've ran out of some of my diet foods. And so I've replaced some of those. And, um, and then <laughs> I'm planning on doing some bacon. And so I bought some stuff for that. So it looks like nothing goes together. And that's fine. I'll try to explain it as I can. The best I can. So let me turn the camera around and we'll get started. 
Okay, guys, we needed some bathroom stuff. They kind of speak for themselves, and um, I use those a lot around for other things, baby's noses and stuff like that. I got Brian. He loves bar soap, and we've never tried this, so I thought we'd try that. Um, and I bought me some a new whitening toothpaste that I was going to try and see if that works. Um, I have a freezer full of pecans, and I know that. But I eat every day a bowl of oatmeal with some chopped pecans in it, toasted chopped pecans. And sometimes I forget about if I have, like I may have ran out of my toasted pecans and I need them quick, I need them fast. And so I bought a bag just to keep in the freezer of chopped pecans uh, and I'll use my other ones for bacon and so forth. The ones I didn't use at Christmas. This was a substitution. I ordered, I think, two of the small cans of the Great Value brand, and they substituted two large cans of the Star Kissed tuna. Um, I don't know what to do with that because I really need the small cans because I, anyway, I, this may, I may just have to get some out, put it, store the rest in the refrigerator, and then eat it like that. Um, Somebody sent me a video of this cheese and dill pickle things they do in muffins, and it looked really good. But then I thought, I just love pickles on sandwiches. Bryant loves pickles on sandwiches, so I got us some hamburger dill pickle chips. Mayonnaise, we always need mayonnaise. We use Dukes, of course. Um, we need that always. Um, like I said, my new oven is ready for Bryant to just call and set up delivery. So that means let the bread baking commence. So I needed some more self-rising flour and I got some uh, unbleached bread flour. So we will start the bread making as soon as my oven gets put in. And therefore I bought two jars of yeast. I'm all, I've kept mine for a while and I'm going to toss it because after I, I'll toss it after a while because I want my yeast to be fresh. So I bought two, two new jars, one instant and one just a regular. This was another substitution that I probably would have said, no, I don't want, um, had I seen it, but I didn't see it. Um, this is, um, I always order niece's sausage and they, um, substituted Jimmy Dean, but we'll use it in something. Um, this is Bryant's favorite salad dressing in the whole wide world. And he ran out the other day and he had nothing to do. I mean, nothing to use. So I got him a thing of his raspberry walnut vinaigrette. And I got some everything but the bagel seasoning. And I had a purpose for this, but I can't remember what it was. Um, I'll figure it out. Um, this, I use this a lot. Um, or I used to use it a lot and I need to get back to it. Um, I, I don't think I'm really necessarily supposed to have the peas and carrots, but that's okay. There's not that many in there. And what I do is I get the red Argentinian shrimp. I cook them up, put them on, and cook the rice, and then put the shrimp back in, put a little soy sauce, some sriracha sauce, and I have like Japanese shrimp stir fry. It's really good. I wanted, I ha I'm struggling getting enough of the vegetables in, and I really struggle with that. So, I got a bag of kale. I'm going to make some kale chips because I thought if I could make them like a snack, I could get them in. I needed some cleaning spray, so I got this. It's a new scent, I think, or one I'm not familiar with, mango hibiscus. Um, so, we're going to try that. I may have had that before. I'm not sure. Um... I've got a recipe coming up that I'll probably do half potatoes again. And um, so I got a bag of potatoes. I got two bags of apples. Um, I'm planning on making applesauce. I have two bags of apples already. And um, I bought two more for just different reasons. We could make, um, I got apple, I can make apple dumplings. I just love to cook with apples. So I've got four bags of apples that I need to use up. And speaking of making applesauce, my secret ingredient in my applesauce is crushed pineapple. So I got a jar of crushed pineapple. Um, 
Uh, also, we always need a head of lettuce, so I did get another head of lettuce. Salt and pepper shakers just on the table. <laughs> I do have a recipe for Cairo syrup. Um, it's it's like a bread spread. So when I make when I make the homemade bread, we're gonna make a spread to go on on it, um, and it calls for Cairo syrup. So we're gonna try that out. Um, Bryant, Judah, and Levi love having the crackers here. So um, I bought a thing of crackers. I bought me some moisturizing body wash. Um, this is my favorite kind of sauerkraut. It's called Silver Floss. And um, I ordered a um, kielbasa sausage, but they were out of, out of stock. So I'll have to go to another grocery store and get the kielbasa. Uh, light sour cream. I always need sour cream. Um, I love these. Um, so I use those a lot. I got some celery to munch on. I had laughing cow cheese in my buggy, but they obviously didn't have that. And I dipped this and those in the laughing cow cheese. I've kind of strayed away from how strict I was, so I'm trying to get back to it. Um, here's some crescent rolls that um, can be used for the apple dumplings or anything, basically. Um, so I got some crescent rolls. Um, Fat-free feta, um, another bag of salad. Um, Bryant will probably eat that because he likes stuff like that. So, uh, Bryant, I needed some more onions, some mozzarella cheese, um, some confectioner sugar. Oh, you know what I was going to make? I've got a donut. I'm going to be making donuts. I've ordered a donut cutter. And uh, I have found a wonderful recipe for donuts that we're going to try. And so I'm excited about that, especially sometime when the boys are here. And I thought I'd try this brand. I've tried, I think, all the brands of the low-carb tortillas except this one. So I thought we'd give them a try just to see how we like it. Orange juice. Um, I put orange juice in my apple dumplings. And we drink it for breakfast. So, um... There's that. I got a gallon of milk, whole milk, and my favorite creamer in the whole world. Right here. I look forward to that cup of coffee every morning. Okay, so I think I got everything. Um, did I mention the celery back there? I think I got everything except for, oh, there's one other thing, two other things. One I'll have to tell you about, and I'll go get the other one. Okay, guys, here are those cinnamon rolls. Um, the first bag I got was perfect. They were the most amazing, wonderful things ever. The second bag I had the other day, and I it was on Facebook Live, I think. I was doing a breakfast, and they were a dud. Like, they were awful. And um, I don't know if they had thawed and then refroze. I don't know what happened. But I had told you how good they were on the first bag. Second bag, it was just terrible. I mean, like, there was no, I just, I, we didn't even try to eat them. I just threw them away. And so, I thought, let's give this one more try. That way I'll know if they're good. If You know, the bad one may have just been a fluke. So, we're going to, um, I bought another bag of these. And so, I stuck them in the freezer as soon as we got home because I did not want any thawing to take place. So, I'm going to go get these back in the freezer. But the only other thing that I didn't bring in was two packages of water, um, what bottle waters. Um, I've um, been drinking bottle waters for a while, and I was about out. I usually get them at Sam's or Costco, but um, yeah, we I ordered two at Walmart, and we just left them in the car. So, okay, here it is. I'm going to put it up a hodgepodge. I mean, I got healthy stuff. I got fattening stuff. I've, I've got cinnamon rolls and I've got kale. So, um, yes, we are a very diverse and actually my intake is very diverse. So, okay, I'm going to get everything put up and I will see you guys tomorrow. Guys, I forgot to show you one more thing. Um, I had put it up in the cabinet. Um, anyway, this is my favorite syrup. 
and even above sugar syrup this has become my favorite i love it so much and if you have this at your local walmart i would give it a try whether you're watching your weight or not it is delicious okay guys that's it thank you so much for joining the farm and pastor's wife I'm super glad you're here that grocery haul was a little odd because it had fattening stuff and it had healthy stuff and and that's just a combination of who i am <laughs> so thank you guys for watching the farm and pastor's wife i appreciate you so very much and remember if the grease is hot enough you can fry anything bye y'all